Cushing syndrome or too much cortisol is probably the disease that confuses the most doctors and nurses and, and patients. But when it comes to adrenal Cushing syndrome, it's actually quite straightforward. You either have a tumor on one of the adrenal glands and the other adrenal gland is normal, or you have tumors on both adrenal glands, which is called bilateral adrenal Cushing syndrome. So today we're gonna to talk about the case of bilateral adrenal Cushing syndrome. This patient is actually a doctor himself and had been diagnosed with adrenal Cushing syndrome for a long period of time. His cortisol levels were high, but his ACTH, which is the pituitary hormone, has always been on the low side. This proves that indeed the cortisol production originates from the adrenal glands as opposed to from the pituitary. So this is very important to check. He had very significant symptoms uh, because the cortisol levels are very toxic. So he had problems with brain fog, depression, anxiety, difficulty concentrating, problems with his memory. He had gained some weight. He had uh, pre-diabetes. He had high blood pressure requiring two different blood pressure medications as well as uh, low potassium, so he had to take a lot of extra potassium. These are all very typical symptoms of too much cortisol Cushing syndrome. His CT scan, which you will see in a minute, showed that he had bilateral tumors, meaning tumors on both the left and the right adrenal gland. And sometimes this confuse, uh, confuses doctors. They wonder, what are we gonna do in a situation like this? Well, again, it's quite straightforward. The patient needs a perfect Goldilocks types of operation, meaning we remove the perfect amount of adrenal tissue. Since the cortisol production is coming from both adrenal glands, we need to remove typically about one and a half of the adrenal gland. We're gonna leave about 30 to 50% of the most normal portion of the adrenal gland. This, on the one hand, cures the Cushing syndrome, but on the other hand, leaves enough adrenal tissue that he won't be dependent on uh, steroid hormone supplementation forever. So that's exactly what we did. This patient, before his operation, was started on a medication called Corlum, which some of you may know about. Corlum is a medication that blocks the effect of cortisol. It's not a cure, it doesn't remove the tumor of the adrenal glands, it, but it does treat the symptoms. So it can be a temporary fix until the patient is ready for surgery. And this patient who had quite debilitating symptoms benefited from having a corollum for a few months before his operation. So in summary, Cushing syndrome from the adrenal glands can be due to bilateral tumors or just from one to, uh, gland. But if you have bilateral tumors, addressing both adrenal glands can be done in such a way that the patients do not need to be on lifelong steroid supplementation.